11 minutes left on the battery. What? I got another battery in the way. I'll go ahead. First Corinthians 3 and 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you see that to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. So everything y'all talking about is bullshit. All these dumbass people walking around, they don't know shit. The average person, the average retard in America, they don't know shit. These people are dumb as hell. Just look at it. You could in a, just point at anybody retarded. Bitch, retarded ass bitches, they don't know shit. That faggot, he don't know nothing. None of these people have any knowledge. They're all a bunch of dumb, stupid, retarded people. They don't know shit. They don't know nothing. They, they're just fucking retarded. They all just need punched in the fucking face. That's why I can see why the Lord would flood the earth. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. He should flood it again. Well, he's going to burn it with fire. Yeah, I understand why the Lord's going to burn the earth with fire. He's going to destroy America by fire. And it's going to be beautiful. It is going to be beautiful, man. It's that's true. Yeah, that's like, yeah. Like when you get a disease, you got to burn it, man. You got to get rid of it. Yeah, you, you try to get rid of it as quick as possible. Yeah, you got to burn that shit out. This is an infection like a zombie virus broke out. It is a zombie virus. Zombies all over the place. Hell, doing the black hay, they would have dug up bodies and got uh, remnants of that fucking virus or whatever they call it disease that hit uh, Israel back then. They hit Europe. They would have dug up bodies. Like, you know that they did. The black plague. Yep, the black plague. They would have dug up bodies to get to the cell and shit from the diseases itself, man. Because the shit just don't die. It's still there. Yeah, that, that, that black plague is still uh, laying dormant somewhere. Yep. They got that shit up in the laboratory, bro. We yep. was wa Man, we was watching this documentary on the internet. On Kazakhstan. Was it Kazakhstan? Yeah. It was on Kazakhstan. And out in the middle of nowhere, there's this, this giant facility where they house all kinds of deadly viruses, all kind of weaponized viruses. That too. Yeah. And then they got no security. Yep. No security, no nothing. You, anybody can just roll up in there with an AK. Get the bubonic play. You ain't even gotta yeah, go got in there with that AK. You can just walk you in there just freely. Sneak up in there, yes. It, it's just totally. I'll see if I can find that documentary. They have no security whatsoever. Just anybody can. Just, and that, and that play could just get out. They could put it on a bomb. They could just bomb a. Anthrax just laying all over the place. Like, the, uh, yeah, they can hit y'all ass with anthrax. Like random people just going to a warehouse and testing all their uh, biological shit. Well, it used to be part of the Civil Union, I think, but I can't remember. I see something on YouTube. Where yeah, Kazakhstan is Russian. Yeah, it used to, yeah, Kazakhstan like, is part of the Civil Union. Low budget scientists and shit actually taking um, these viruses and going to like a abandoned warehouse. Right and testing on the shit. It was on um, Doomsday Preppers okay. on that show. They don't hide that shit, man. Check this out, here you go. Deuteronomy uh, 28 and uh, 60. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 59. Then the Lord will make thy plague wonderful and the plagues of thy seed. I said, that's beautiful, man. What well, scripture is that? Read that again. Deuteronomy 28 and 59. Then the Lord, 28, read that. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sour sicknesses, and of long continuance. Hold on, back up to like 56. 56, okay. Yeah, read it read from there. Me. Um, <laughs> the tender and delicate woman of my... Oh yeah, this is talking about these hoes out here, bro. <laughs> this is talking about all, all these That's little scary. nasty ass That's bitches scary. you see walking out here. And you just talk, we just talking about zombies. This is the spirit. We just talking about zombies, right? Go ahead, this is some real life cannibalism, bro. Right. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set her soul of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye. So, so uh, yeah, these bitches, they look real tender. They look real delicious too. Well, the Israelite woman really is supposed to be a when we in the kingdom, I guess these hoes really will be queens. But they, they're not they're, they're princesses. Y'all hoes is not queens right you now, y'all. just hoes. Y'all hoes is bitches. 
Like, All these hoes is bitches. The only thing Dr. Dre ever said that made sense is a bitch is a bitch. Or, yeah, or like, you it. can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Did he say that? Yeah. yeah he didn't make that up. He it's said you so can't bad. turn a hoe yeah. into a housewife. Yeah, because Dr. Like Dre's a faggot. Anyway, Tupac said that he couldn't make up for his mind. What do you want to do, suck a dick or eat a pussy? No, no Tupac right. said Dr. Dre would come to his parties dressed in drag. Yeah, Yo, he did that shit, what? man. He's a fact. He said that on that rap song. On uh, one of them songs, didn't he? Okay. Yeah, it's documented oh, yeah, uh, on one of Tupac's it's songs. Machiavelli. Yep. No, it was till the end of time. Oh, yeah, you could be right. Uh, uh, go ahead, read that. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. And that's how all these hoes are evil towards the men. They'll leave them. I'm leaving you, nigga, you broke ass nigga. Kids, they'll leave you. Kids. Like that Dave Chappelle yeah, episode. Kids, right? Yeah, you got kids. Yeah, you me wet cardinals all day. Bitch got kids with you, and then they're going to leave you. Because you'll leave your, uh, yeah, because you'll get fired from your job or something. And you can't get no work, so a bitch will leave you. You know what I mean? But well, I thought y'all was in it, you know what I'm saying, to win it. And y'all yeah, supposed to. Yeah. Fake ass part. Christmas, I mean, wedding vows they take. Yeah. Like it's a ceremony to Mars. Yeah, this bitch just couldn't wait to get married and had that ceremony. That oh, no, this is a ceremony to Saturn because yeah, that's why they do it on Saturday. Yeah, she can't wait to leave your wife. Sunday. Exactly. There's a story down Atlanta, this black cop dude. You know what I'm saying? It's a police officer had a nice settlement, you know what I'm saying? Nice bread. He's been dealing with his wife for 20 years. Woo! I mean, the people that was documenting the story was even saying that this man did everything for her. She just came out of the woodwork and wanted to separate her. So he's talking about she's tired of all uh, the, uh, the financial things like, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No bitches got in her head, her friends. Her friend, the nigga woman. Told her that if you divorce them, you'll get half of that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what did they call it? Irreconcilable differences or something like that? Uh, uh, I forget what it's called. He, he killed that bitch. Uh, he hired an Issachar, right? These yeah, bitches, they yeah, these bitches is hoes. That's when you get a divorce when, you, uh, when uh, it's, you know, it don't cost as much. Yes. And, and they really don't split the shit in half. Right? So why gotta pay the government for get a fucking, to get married and get a divorce? What kind of dumbass shit is that? What, what, what the fuck is this?